fresh from his tenure at the White House, former presidential advisor Sebastian Gorka offers his observations on how the government works. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. A prominent state consisting of individuals in government who think they know better than the president may be one reason the Trump administration has faced opposition in implementing its agenda, according to former presidential advisor Sebastian Gorka, who participated in a Judicial Watch forum on the so-called deep state. So my months in the White House uh, demonstrated to me that there are people across the government in senior and uh, more junior positions who th have the attitude, I've been here at the State Department or the CIA for 15 years, I'll be here after the president leaves, uh, and I know much better than he does and more better than the people who elected him, so I'm going to decide upon policy, and, and it's very disturbing. It may be disturbing, but is nevertheless based on personal experience, says Gorka. Personal experience, uh, I had three individuals who I'd known as former students of mine who I wished to detail from a government agency uh, over into the White House to work for me and Steve Bannon. And uh, not only were those individuals blocked after the White House had requested their being detailed, afterwards I found out all three of them were punished by the government agency that employed them. A personal story that may not be encouraging, but not atypical within the permanent state. A deep state that Chris Farrell, director of investigations for Judicial Watch, well knows. The deep state does exist. You can think of it also as a permanent political class in Washington, D.C. And it really doesn't matter what particular party they belong to. It's Democrats, Republicans, it's lobbyists, it's media folks. They're nearly indistinguishable. That's kind of the, the unusual part. They're the long-term career political operatives. That is one observation of the deep state from someone who has encountered it often on behalf of Judicial Watch. But author and journalist Diana West says President Trump may have provoked the deep state because of his campaign to restore sovereignty. Candidate Trump first it provoked the deep state into the open with a specific set of forbidden issues immigration restriction and selectivity, including some block on Muslim immigration, nationalist trade and tariffs, an end to wars not over, that are not fought over American core interests, and the restoration of American sovereignty. West went on to explain that the antidote to the deep state is the American people pushing for facts and asking the lawmakers to act on them. John Hines, One American News, Washington.